show you the lumbar extension today and a lot of variations for this move so that you can do this at home or wherever you go hopefully. So this move is brought to us by the great powerlifting coach Louis Simmons and there's a great piece of gym equipment called the Reverse Hyper and this thing is pretty big you know and you don't hardly see it at gyms anywhere so if you have access to a reverse hyper beautiful um, but we can get a lot of benefit um, by fudging it so this is aka the ghetto reverse hyper all right so the first example right is going to be something that you can use uh, you know a lot of people have at home and it's, it's a stability ball okay so you're gonna listen to me coach the lovely Megan through this move all right, so first you just drape yourself over the ball. However, right? Okay, good, very good, fine. All right, now, she's gonna take a deep breath in and while she pulls her legs against the ball. So here we go, what I mean is, it's almost, it's almost, like, a, almost like a crunch, kinda, right? She's just gonna gently pull her legs into the ball there, that's the breathing in, and then as she exhales, she's gonna extend, right? So that means she's just straighten out her back, Squeeze the glutes, try to push your hips against the ball, the elbows straighten out, and she ends up looking straight ahead. So, we're gonna reverse this now. On the inhale, you're gonna sort of drape and pull your legs gently against the ball. And on the exhale, she's gonna extend. So, breathing out, extending, and the elbows straighten. All right, so you see she's got to find kind of her balance point on this. So go ahead and do a few reps for us. This is the inhale, and there we go, there's the exhale. So you see she's ending up rolling backward and forward, and that's, that's good, that's what you'll have to do here. So it takes a little bit of experimenting. That's the inhale, that's the exhale. Squeeze the glutes. You wanna drive this from your hips as much as possible, inhale. See, everything rounds here, that's good. And as we exhale, we extend. So that's one variation. Awesome. All right. So the size of the ball here matters. All right. So go ahead, Megan, and just push that black one just aside and give it a try on the smaller stability ball. And so we'll see how this looks. All right. So right away, you can see that here her knees are actually touching the floor. So she's not going to be able to, to actually get in there when she starts her repetitions, right? So go ahead and do a few reps for us. And just so you all who are watching know, I've just taught her this move, like as we are speaking and teaching it to her. All right, so here, watch her knees hit the floor, right? So she, now she's almost like going into child's pose. That's pretty cool too, okay. All right, so this is kind of how you have to improvise with, with different size things. The problem is here, what you can't see on the video is that when she drapes over the bigger ball, she gets a more traction in her back because her hips end up kind of hanging off that ball. Go ahead and show us that look again, Megan, if you don't mind, on the, uh, on the bigger ball. And this is why, you know, you, you have to start, if you really want to get the most out of this move, you just start thinking different ways to set up. Um, you know, as best as you can. So I'll improvise them. So here her knees don't hit the floor. So you see her, her low back is much more rounded here. And that's what we want for the purposes of this exercise is to hit, go and go from the round to the extended there. So anatomically, of course, this would be like flexion, a lot of flexion here. And then we're extending here. All right, so that's the advantage of having something taller. And then, of course, if you have, if you have, if you have the ability to, you gotta get and work on really much taller things. So Megan, go ahead and jump up and, and grab the white ball. And so here's, here's a way to improve on this. If you have access to something like this, this is just a, a gym box, box jump type of a thing. Um, so yeah, she's gonna basically flop up onto that and grab the front of this, uh, this box, all right? So she's draped over in that first position. You see her, and then she's gonna extend. And so here, we're gonna go do a few reps. Inhale, toes all the way to touch the base. 
and then exhale, extending elbows straight, looking straight ahead, squeezing the glutes. Inhale, and exhale, good. And she's lost her band, but you definitely want to do this with the band, all right? So I'll take this opportunity to show you another variation, all right, which is if you don't have a band um, or you want an interesting variation, you can, no, no, without the band, if you don't have the band and, and you want an interesting variation, you can <laughs> go ahead and set up and just cross your feet one foot over the other. Okay, so same move, inhale, toes touch, exhale, extend, elbow straight, good. So what she's gonna do here the whole time, she's actually gently pressing outward, all right, with her feet. So her feet are locked and she's pushing outward against that pressure, uh, against that lock, all right? So she might do 10 reps like this and then switch her feet, all right, go ahead and switch your feet, and, and then 10 reps like this. Exhale, elbow straight, there you go. Inhale, drape. Pump the ball, that's some way to think of this. Squeeze your glutes, push your pubic bone into the ball. That's what's gonna get you to do it right. There you go. Okay, so you see the height of this box, keep going, allows her to, to really hang off that ball um, when she goes into flexion. And this will traction your low back. It's, it's almost like a, a gravity table thing. And you'll love it. All right, and let's show one more variation here. So the height of that box for her was really nice. But um, one of the limitations, and come on over here and you can leave the ball. One of the limitations is that, uh, you know, her toes hit the box. And so over here, we have a rig called a glutes ham raise, glutes ham raise, glute ham raise rig here. And, all right, she's gonna set up, sorry. She's gonna set up on this rig, like so, all right? So breathing in and breathing out, good. And you see here, keep going please, her toes will be able to come all the way under her. So that's um, a greater range of motion than she was getting with that box. Because on the box, her toes were hitting here before they get really under her. Um, on the floor, of course, she, she was having even less range. Okay, she's pulling um, on that base over there to the left, right? We want to engage the lats. All right, so these are the lats here, and these actually tie in to the opposite glute. So the, these lats cross the low back and so on, like that, and create actually like a sling, a fascial sling there that really reinforces and stabilizes uh, the lumbar spine there. So that's why she's got that good grip out in front of her, right? And she's using uh, her back, her upper back, you know, her lats, like I said, and even her arms a little bit. But you just don't want to get into like a row in this movement. So if you can, Megan, on your next um, extension, just like bend your elbows like you were doing right before there. So see the elbows, don't do that, okay? Keep your elbows straight and work from the back, work from the lats as I showed you. And that's the exhale. So these are a few ways um, to do this uh, and you know if you can imagine if she was flopped over a countertop a kitchen t countertop or maybe a workbench or something if she could flop over and grab the far end of that like as we were over here if you could imagine this was a table so I've seen you know people use things like that to accomplish this move all right so there we have it and um Good luck, everybody.